Oh, one thing when I was small, we used to we used to turn the fire hydrant on, and it cooled off the neighborhood at night. Really? The water was like ice cold, so it cooled off the neighborhoods. Hmm. Then the police would come and turn it off. <laughs> then they put the caps on there so you couldn't turn the fire hydrant on anymore. Hmm. Did you guys have any tools to uh, loosen it then, or? So what else now? So uh, how how um, how much did you uh, weigh back then in your teenage years? I have no idea. And how much do you weigh now? 184 pounds. What was the most you've ever weighed? 220. 220. And then what was the tallest you ever were? 5'8". 5'8". I was 5'8 when I was in grammar school. Hmm. I never grew after I was in eighth grade. And that's when I was 5'8", and I never grew any taller. And you said that um, back then you, uh, you had to get shoes frequently during a certain period yeah, of time. Yeah, because my foot always grew. And how often did you have to get new shoes? About every seven months or something like that. And how Finally, were they... they stopped, my foot stopped growing when it got to size 12. And then how long did the shoes last? I have forever. Yeah? More than a yeah, year? Yeah, I used to put car, if you had a hole in there, you used to put cardboard in there. Hmm. They covered a hole. What kind of shoes were being made back then? Same shoes that are now, except they're more fancier. Were they the same level of comfort? Yeah, they were pretty good comfort. Then they had a machine to, to check to check to see if you had the right size shoe. Oh, what kind of machine? Well, it's like an x-ray machine. You put your foot in there, that shows you uh, your foot looking into the shoe. Oh. They don't even use that technology. No, anymore. they don't anymore. And uh, do you remember any kind of like favorite clothes you no. wore back then? No. no. Any kind of design? I used to hate the word knickers, though. Knickers? Did you wear a lot of Dago tees at all in the neighborhood? No. What was your favorite music growing up? Italian music. Italian music? <coughs> yes. What kind of uh, what kind of singers did you listen to? Mostly opera singers. Opera singers? Did you like uh, Frank Sinatra at all? Frank Sinatra came on later on in my life. He wasn't there when I was young. <coughs> what kind of opera singers were you listening to? Who? Any any names? I have no idea. Do you have any other CDs or tapes? None of them. None of them, no. And uh, what was your favorite food growing up? Mostly, I think, uh, ravioli. Raviolis? My mother used to make the best. Hmm. And what is your uh, top five favorite foods right now? Oh, man. Strip steak. Pot roast, spaghetti, raviolis, and the lasagna. Hmm. I asked you that question a couple of years ago, and uh, one of them was Vesuvio. Oh, chicken Vesuvio. Yeah. That was really... And then something else, because it does change. And um, how about uh, beverages or drinks? <laughs> Drink water. Couldn't afford to buy pop. And... What was the uh, the drinks like back then? They had Pepsi Cola and root beer. I mean, they had Pepsi Cola, root beer, and uh, and Coca Cola. Did it taste different back then compared to? I now? have no idea. And you've mentioned before that the fruit you used to eat. Oh, the fruit was all oh, more better than it is now. More juicier, more tastier, and everything. The only thing that this tastes pretty good is watermelon yeah, and bananas mm. and apples. What well, what fruit uh, changed the most in taste? I think peaches, pears, cantaloupe, orange. Well, oranges are still pretty good. But they're not as good as they used to be. They use too much chemical stuff in them now. Hmm. Just like animals. Yeah. 
How about the strawberries or blueberries or raspberries? We hardly ever had strawberries. Blueberries we used to go pick. When we were on vacation, we used to go pick blueberries up, and my mother used to make bread jelly from them. Where would you guys pick them at? What area? They had they were wild, wild. There was a lot of raspberry and blueberry plants that were wild. Where would you guys go to pick them? I have no idea. It's some place in the country. Was it down south? or? I have no idea. Hmm. Was there a... Uh... Was there any forest uh, near where you're living in Chicago that may still No, be we used to go out in the country. And they were wild uh, right by the roads. Wild, 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 wild by the roads there. There's a lot of wild stuff in those days. And so that's not like that any, anymore? You don't see them anymore anymore on the side of the roads anymore. And when you were young, you said your dad would take you guys to to get a chicken on the farm? Oh, we used to go get milk, eggs, and chickens. And where'd you guys go to get them? By an old farmer that my dad finally met. Where was this? In Chicago, when we lived in Chicago. Does the farm still exist? I have no idea. And it was near Chicago? No, it was outside of Chicago. And do you have any idea what area that might be in now? I have no idea where it was. Do you remember how far you guys drove to get there? Maybe about an about hour and a half or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Huh. And, uh, and the chickens back then, did they look any different than they do now? Were they well, they were smaller. Yeah. They used to be one and two pounders. They used to call them fryers. Hmm. They were really delicious those days. And they taste much better? Oh, yeah, I think so. Then the butcher used to have a, a bunch of chickens in like a wooden coop. And my dad used to go pick them up. He used to feel their breath to see if, if they were young chickens or old chickens. Mm -hmm. and then they used to clean them. And how about the eggs? The eggs were good and great too. Oh, my dad used to eat raw eggs. He used to put a put put a pinhole in there to, to suck all the juice out of the eggs. Hmm. He just went right in the egg and huh? He just poked a little hole in the egg and really hole and then suck all the juice, suck all the egg out of there. Oh. And uh, I believe you told me that he also put uh, like small mints in his nose and would. Oh, my grandpa used to put uh, something in the, if it was basil or something, he used to put it in his own because it smelled so good. Some mints or? It was a mint, yeah, that was right. This was in America? Oh, yeah. And uh, what side? Were your mother's or your father's? What? Your, your grandpa? My grandpa, my, gra my dad's side. Your dad's side? And so he, he was from Rome and they... they uh, right. Did they take a plane or a ship or... Oh, they came on a ship, as far as I know. How long did it take to get here? I have no idea. And did they arrive at Ellis Island, or...? I think they did come to Ellis Island, but I'm yeah. not sure. And then, do you remember how they got here? Like, what kind of um, process...? Uh, Ryan, you, Jordan, you asked me all questions that I really don't know nothing about. All right. And um, do you remember any of... Uh, anything in, in particular? back in your childhood that, that you really enjoyed? No, oh, I enjoyed going under the fire hydrant when it was hot. <laughs> and my uncle had a, a restaurant there on the corner. Hmm. What kind of restaurant? A regular restaurant where you eat food and candy and ice cream and stuff. What other kind of food did they have there? Italian food. Hmm. And um, on the way to the farm, you guys would stop and get ice cream, you were saying? On the way back home. On the way back home. And uh, Freelax ice cream? Freelax ice cream or Prince Castle ice cream. And then what kind of, like... We get ice cream cones. Was it vanilla or chocolate or... Well, it's all different kind of flavors. Did they have just as many flavors back then as oh, they yeah. do now? Really? This mostly popular was chocolate and strawberry ice cream.
Did they put chocolate chips in them too? Sometimes? No, not that I remember. They didn't no. have chocolate chips back then? No. Because now they put in, you know, all kinds of different candies yeah. that... Now they put all kinds of crap in them. Mm. And was the ice cream uh, better back then? or? I think so. Especially Spumoni ice cream was the best. Mm. What's expensive was Spumoni ice cream to buy. It was more creamier and stuff like that. And um, after your your father had the hot dog stand, what did he end up? What did he do? What was his last? Uh... He worked at Crop Forge. He was a, became a supervisor there. And what was that exactly? What kind of? They, I forget what they made. It, the tools and stuff, I think. And a couple of my uncles worked there, and he was their boss. What were their names? Your uncles? My uncle Viz and my uncle Patsy. My brother, father had two brothers and five sisters. And my uncle Mike had seven wives. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, did you play with uh, all the kids and the family? Oh yeah, we played and we didn't. You didn't know when we were there, we had to be so quiet. So they were very strict on you guys? Yeah, then after my dad died, we, we used to go by my grandpa's at Christmas. And we used to play cards all night till 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. Wow. Uh, when uh, you guys were, you know, really forced to be quiet, so they were, they were more strict back then, do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, heck, yeah. And did they? My dad was strict, whoa. He was used to tease me all the time. What did he Drove do? me crazy, teasing me, all different kind of ways of teasing me. Why did he do that? I forget how he was, but I never remember him teasing me a lot. Hmm. What were his intentions? I just to fool around and make and laugh and stuff like that. Hmm. Did he uh, teach you a lot of things? Did he what? Did he teach you a lot of things when you were growing up? Not too much. He was, an, he was mostly an outdoor man. He used to go fishing, hunting, and everything. Where did he go hunting? I have no idea. Did he use a gun? or? He used a, a single shotgun. He believed in giving the animals a chance. He only used a single shotgun. He wouldn't get a double barrel shotgun. Hmm. And my brother Joe sold the damn rifle. And why did he sell it? I have no idea why he sold it. And growing up, um, your um, 